Hi guys, this is Butterfly, aka Above Bliss, and if you want to know how I achieve this look, stay tuned. Okay, guys. Um, what I've done is just braided my hair and I put on a um a shower cap. Now I'm going to put on a a stocking cap on top of the shower cap. You want to make sure that everything is all tucked in. You don't want to leave any of the shower cap out. And you definitely want to make sure that your hairline and the perimeter all the way around your head is completely covered because you don't want any glue to get on your hair. Okay. Now I'm going to use a weaving net. And this comes open at the top. So what I did is just cut a little bit off and then just sewed it together. And I'm going to take this and place this on top of the stocking cap. And you want to make sure everything is um, even. You want to make sure that the weaving cap is directly on the stocking cap and that none of the pieces are sticking out. Like I say, you want to make sure that the perimeter of the head is covered completely. Because as you place in the track, you don't want any glue to actually get on your head. Okay. And I'll be using two packs of hair. They're two different brands, but it's the same type of hair. This is Hera, and it's in a 12 inches, a number one. And this is Bella. Also on a number one, but it's a 10 inch. So I'm going to put the 12 inch in the back and a 10 inch in the top. And it's the same same type of hair. It's a yakky weaving here. Both of them are the same, just two different brands. So I'm going to start at the nape of my neck, I mean of my head, to ensure that I get the full 12 inches. I'm going to start all the way at the nape. And I'm not going to split the width of the tracks right now. I'm going to leave it intact. But as I get further to the top, I will start to um, split the tracks. So let's get started. And remember, you don't want to use too much glue.
Okay guys, I'm going to continue this process and when I get a little closer to the top, I'll come back. Bye. Okay, I've installed the 12 inch at the bottom and the 10 inch at the top and as you can see it's nice and full. So the only thing I have to do now is the invisible part and the closure. I took a brown eyeliner pencil and drew a line where I want my part to form. And let me show you how it looked in the back. So as you can see, it's nice and full. So what I'm going to do now is start to um, apply my pieces in the front. And remember, you only want to put a little bit of glue. Just want to place the tracks right on top of each other. So what I'm going to do is continue to um, fill in the leave-in part, excuse me, the invisible part, and do the closure, and I'll come back with the completed look. Hey guys, this is the final look. It is 12 inches at the bottom and 10 at the top. I style it in curl it and just lay it at the top. I'm sorry I didn't record me styling it and um, layering it because I wasn't sure how I wanted to style it so I didn't want to waste a lot of time on camera. But this is the final look and as I mentioned earlier this is a quick weave wig unit. So I can take it off and put it back on. I can also change the position of my part. I can switch it over and wear a side part or I can actually cover up my part. So this unit is very versatile. You can do many things with it. Um, as far as my makeup, I'm wearing um, makeup from my 88 eye color palette. On my lips I have Plum Berry by LA Colors and my mascara and eyeliner is from Wet n Wow. So if you want me to do a makeup video just send me a message and you all have a wonderful and blessed day. Bye.